So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of that axe and scatter, because that thing is just going to get my, my way no matter what I do. 10-9. laying on this side and we see his, his FDBA bottle, I'm going to take my webbing and I want to capture the top of the fob. If I see that, so now I have the webbing going down to the side of the, uh, the bottle there. Okay, I'm going to take this, going to come up between his legs. I want to take this loop and lay it right on his chest. Okay. Now I'm going to reach under his arm. I'm going to grab that webbing that's on the side of the ball. Okay, now we'll roll him over and do the same thing. Now, reach, reach inside here, go through here. I'm going to let him off. Oh, I see. Yeah, let him yeah. pull it up through. Okay, we'll cinch it down. Get all the slack out. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've created two handles. If he's a little guy, we can simply just pick him up and carry him out, or if we have two handles, and we'll slide him on the bottom. Okay, just makes a real quick hasty notice. You good at that? Really well, though. Yeah. Great. 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 Okay, we have webbing with the carabiner on. It's your hand Go Okay. Don't be my victim. So you're gonna be the rescuer. Okay. So you're gonna take your webbing. And we're going to read it through his shoulder harness, but we need to get rid of the belt and then convert that because we're going to pull on the harness from a waist strap to a cross strap. Is that your favorite movie? Up the stairs. <laughs> Puts the lotion in the basket. Okay, we all good? Okay, so let's cinch down his uh, shoulder straps. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so lay, lay onto his side there. Okay, you're going to come back up to the head. You're going to hook your carabiner into your waist strap or whatever you got going there. There you go. Okay, now take that webbing and put it underneath. Does he have a handle here? Yes. Nope. I usually do uh, an yep. older one. That's so you can do it with just the one strap. All right, again. You so what you'll do is you'll sit around, you'll sit on your butt at his head right here. Okay. I'm gonna go for a ride right now. Okay, back up as far as you can. Okay, and just pull on that one on your lap. Okay, so we made it two to one. Cool. So it works really well if you guys are trying to pull somebody out like Dan. Okay. So you're the driver. You're the driver. CBAs. Yeah. Do you guys carry drop bags? Yes. How much rope do you have in there? Okay, we carry 75. So with your drop bag, you can do the same thing. Get you a little more distance. Okay, if the, the victim is bigger than you and you start pulling, you start sliding towards him, find something to lock on to with your feet, whether it's a doorway, a rack, merchandise, whatever it might be, brace yourself and just start reeling on them. 
Is it very efficient? No, but if that's all you have and you physically can't move him any other way, that's what you got to do. Use that stairs. What's that? Stairs. What if we're in a one story? Oh, I'm saying you're getting your ass kicked. Right? Oh. Heavy guy upstairs. I've man. never done it. We could try it. It's nice, but yeah. it's better than the alternative. Yeah, so we can use it in conjunction with another means of getting them up and downstairs. <laughs>